get our little acceleration here at the Grand Cherokee. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hart here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Jeep Cherokee Laredo X. Yes, this is the new Laredo X, it's like the blackout package. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Provo for providing us with the Grand Cherokee Laredo X. Check out their info in the link below. Let's just get straight into the video. Under the hood of the Laredo X, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through an 8-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 25 on the highway, with power outputs being 293 horsepower and then 260 pound-feet of torque. Now going over the front end on the Laredo X, this one's finished in billet silver and as part of the limited X package, you can see that the headlights themselves, they're full projector bulbs, that's not part of it, but you can see how it's kind of like blacked out so it makes it have like that darker theme as part of the limited X package. Laredo does come standard with the halogen bulbs, got the fog lights down below and then notice the trim here is blacked out as well. And then all around the little Jeep rectangles here in the front, that is also all blacked out. And then here at the bottom, so notice that that and the Jeep badge, everything is blacked out as part of the Laredo X package. Now coming around the side here, we've got 265 millimeter tires and 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And again, as part of this Laredo X package, you can see that the wheels have been fully blacked out, which is another nice little look. And then here's a quick look at what we can see of the suspension here in the front. And then you got the Grand Cherokee badge right there, which has also been blacked out on the side. But other than that, here is your full side view here on the Laredo X. Now let's pop here into the back of the Laredo X. So you can see that this is actually for the hatch. And then if we actually press this, that's where the spare tire is underneath there. And then there is a little 12 volt back here. And they got these little storage cubbies, which eh, pretty interesting. And then you can put a car cover right here where that little area is. And then other than that, it's a decent amount of storage here in the back. over things in the rear of the Laredo X. So first off, you can see that you've got little crossbars there at the top. And then you've got the LED lights, which these are kind of like the signature lights with the Grand Cherokees. And then there's nothing really different. You can see it's kind of blacked out there at the bottom. Jeep logo has also been blacked out here. You've got the tow package there at the bottom, which the towing capacity with the V6 is right around the 6,000 pound range on the Grand Cherokee that's got the tow package from the factory. Got your little exhaust tip there at the bottom, but other than that, that is everything for this part of the back. Coming here to the door panel, notice that you've got the cool like blacked out wood trim, which again, I just think that's a really neat look. And then you've got the padding here with the stitching that goes across, which is all blacked out. And then coming to the seats, they do the leather padding here and then they do suede on the inside part here for the Laredo package. I'm not sure what this all is, it's just floor mats, I'm just kidding. But anyways, let's actually pop in. So stepping in, oh, anyways, you guys can see I'm about 5'11", and I've got a decent amount of headroom, legroom. A little bit more on the cramp side, but it's not bad by any means. A couple vents here, and then you've got a full power outlet as well. And this actually pulls down to be some cup holders, but for being like a base model, the interior here in the back is actually really nice. Let's take a look at the door panel here at the front. So again, you've got the padding here with that blacked out wood trim and then you got the door handle which is finished in chrome interesting all of your window controls are here with the mirror adjustments by the way these mirrors do have blind spot monitoring in them and then here are the seats at the front so again you've got that really nice padding right here and then you've got all the suede right there in the center which i just like the combination got your adjustments here on the side of the seat and then you can see the pedals right there light controls and there's one more look before we pop in Here's the steering wheel in the Laredo X. So first off, you can see on this side, you've got the cruise control. On the other side, you've got the controls for the center stack voice command controls. And then you've got the radio controls in the back of the steering wheel. They've got smooth leather all around with black stitching on the center part of the steering wheel. So the steering wheel looks and feels nice. Now we can see we've got the center gauge cluster here. You've got RPMs on the left side. Over here on the right side, you can see we've got the fuel and the temperature. And then there in the center is actually the whole screen setup. So you can see it's a speedometer right now, but you can see stuff like your oil life, your average fuel economy. You know, I've got the trip computer. 
auto stops are if all that stuff is ready and everything which the other cool thing is the uh, cabin cooling or heating which I think it's cool that it shows you all of the statuses on that but we'll just leave it to be a speedo. Now here is the center infotainment system. So first off, popping it into reverse, you can see the backup camera is gonna pop up. Got some trajectory lines that do move as you turn the steering wheel. And then other than that, this infotainment system response time on it is really solid. You've got heated and cooled seats that come with it. Dual zone climate here in the Laredo X. Like this has like all of the luxury features. Got the navigation as well. So like overall, Touchscreen is really good. You guys know I like this infotainment system. Response time on it's solid, but it's cool all the features that the Laredo X actually comes with. And then yes, it does have the off-road pages as well, which you guys have seen in a couple of my reviews with like the Gladiators and the Wranglers and all that. Down here, you can see that we've got the analog controls for the climate system. Again, it is a dual zone climate system. And then you've got the controls for the radio. And then you can see here, you've got the stability control. You've got the sport mode to turn that on or off, your eco mode off. So basically right now it's in eco mode. You press that, that'll put it in normal mode. And then you press this, and then that'll put it into the full-on sport mode. Your auto stops are, if you don't like that feature, the parking sensors. And then you can see under here, you've got a couple of USBs and a 12 volt, a couple cup holders. Here is the shifter for the eight speed automatic. And if you do wanna shift the gears yourself, you can in that little manual mode with the shifter. And if you're wondering, here's the off-road pages. Just shows you some off-road stuff. If you uh, ever plan on taking your Grand Cherokee, off-road got the center console here which again is lined with the padding with the stitching and then you can see in here you've got a little 12 volt and then you've got this random like felt line storage here in the front which uh, i don't know what that's about more of the like blacked out wood trim and then we can see the glove box again also lined with felt which i'm just impressed like again this is like the base model grand cherokee and like the interior like everything like flows together with the body lines all that in the interior and just has nice materials as well. Up top here, we've got the universal garage door opener, and then you can open up the hatch there in the back. Normal mirror, but you do have like a dimmer if you are getting blinded by someone driving a Dodge Ram truck that's uh, driving like two feet behind you with their brights on. Then uh, you just pop that tab up and the lights will no longer blind you. Now that we're done going over the interior, let's quickly get into pricing. So in terms of pricing, this Laredo X with all the options it has, stickers are about $43,000 before any type of market adjustment. That all being said, let's take this Laredo X out and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here in the Grand Cherokee Laredo X. You can see visibility over the hood, pretty good. There's your visibility through both of the mirrors. And then here is your visibility all throughout the rear, which I mean, it's pretty decent. Remember you do have blind spot monitoring. Um, there's a little bit of blind spot back there, but again, it's not bad at all. And that all being said, let's set off. We are initially setting off here in this Grand Cherokee Laredo X and First and foremost, let's kind of talk about the insulation in terms of the sound that comes through into the cabin. So in terms of that, I mean, we're actually by a pretty busy road here that is pretty high speed and you really don't hear a whole lot coming through from there. And overall, it's actually a pretty well insulated cabin. Now from the maneuvering, as we just went through that roundabout, it actually does really well. It doesn't feel like it's a very big SUV, which this is on the larger size. Obviously it's not like Tahoe Suburban size, but it's definitely not a Toyota RAV4 or anything like that. And let's actually get up onto the road here. So pretty good. You don't hear a whole lot of noise from the engine, which is definitely nice. A little bit more on the luxury side. The ride quality is really good. Like this is a very smooth car. So from a daily driver perspective, thumbs up from me. And as we're coming up to this roundabout, let's kind of see what the braking performance is. So I would say it's actually pretty good. It's like average for the segment from a braking standpoint. So, I mean, it's right where it needs to be. And I can imagine if you had a trailer behind this, then that would not be an issue whatsoever. So overall, initial impressions with the Grand Cherokee. Braking performance is pretty good. It is pretty quiet with the noise that comes in and the ride quality is right where it should be. It's definitely on the smoother side for SUVs in this segment. Let's get our little acceleration here with the Grand Cherokee. 
actually does pretty good with that 3.6 liter V6. We were in the sport mode and I feel like it gets up and goes pretty well. It's right where it should be in this segment. Definitely feels quicker than it should. That was weird. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like it just feels quick for a little 3.6 liter V6 in such a big SUV. Again, the braking is really solid with that. But let's get into summing things up with the Grand Cherokee Laredo. So if you're looking for, oh my gosh, I'm horrible turret singles. Sorry, that was embarrassing. Anyways, if you're looking for a bigger sized SUV with a good amount of storage space, but you don't need a third row SUV, the Grand Cherokee is a great option to go for. I've seen plenty of people, you know, soup these up, off-road them, all that kind of stuff. But the majority of people buying these cars just kind of want a car that gets good gas mileage, which the V6 is pretty good for this size of SUV that this actually is. So good gas mileage car. There's the auto stop start, by the way with a good amount of storage room. It's got a good amount of capability from an off-road perspective. This would do great in the snow. It's got a good towing capacity, especially for the size of SUV it is. So like overall, hits all the key points. This new limited, or not limited, sorry, Laredo X package. I really like the package. I think it's a good value. So if you're getting a Laredo, I think getting the Laredo X, just because of all the extra stuff it comes with and the nice interior it comes with, I think it's definitely worth investing into. And that is gonna sum things up for our video on this 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo X. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Jeep Chrysler Dodge Ram here in Provo for providing us with the Grand Cherokee. Check out their internal link below. I'll see all of you in the next video.